the purchasing power of your dollar or your hundred thousand dollars or your million dollars, whatever you have, is cut in half. Cut in half. So you thought you had a million dollars, it was me. That's gonna work really well for me for the next X number of years. Oh, but gee, in nine years, it's only gonna be worth half a million dollars. And then in another nine years, it's worth a quarter of a million dollars. How's that gonna work out when you've not attached your your plan to a vehicle that actually keeps pace with inflation? Touch on, on financial freedom, it reminds me of a few episodes back, we had Chris Miles on here and uh, Dr. Phelps, I know you watched it, so I'm not going to tell you anything you don't know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, he was on there. He's telling about, you know, the financial freedom model that everyone is prescribed in America and the world abroad is invest, you know, put money into your 401k, you know, put money in savings. And he gave this, you know, description of his father retired and, you know, was going to draw on his 401k and he wanted Chris to look at it. And Chris did and said, well, you're going to have to die in about five years because that's all this is going to last you. And like, and that was like the wake up point for him and his dad apparently too, but like, that's not financially free. So, you know, that model of what we're prescribed doesn't seem to work. Um, your model, David, can you kind of, I know you've kind of tiptoed around it, but can you kind of give us a little more of the nuts and bolts and the nuances of what you are telling your people, um, how to build this financial freedom uh, that, that maybe isn't 401k. Yeah. The 401k, the traditional financial retirement model, as you described it, Jonathan, is an accumulation model. It, it is about discipline and discipline is important. It's taking money and, and putting it in a vehicle. This is this case, an IRA or a 401k, uh, that's basically invested by somebody else who's going to choose stocks, mutual funds, bonds, whatever it might be, it kind of, kind of a mixed financial portfolio. And and that's supposed to just you know sit in those accounts and, and grow over, over the years. Well, they grow and then of course, then we have a market downturn and, and, it, and it drops back down and, and back to contribution level, this up and down. W what retirement requires, or let's just say removing yourself from active income, what it requires is cash flow, not accumulation, it requires cash flow. The traditional model that we're talking about, the 401k, does not provide for cash flow. The, the whole game there is, well, build up as much as you can. And then you ask the financial advisor today, well, how much should that be for you know any one person? Just, they can't give a really clear answer. Well, of course not, because the, the, the variability in the economics today uh, with inflation factors and, and all the volatility, they can't really. So what they tell people is just, well, as long as you can keep working, keep working. <laughs> well, that's because they want to manage more of the, more of the capital. There's a little bit of an uh, incentive in there for them to keep, you know, keep managing their money. But the problem is the accumulation model is based on you have so much and then they try to run these algorithms with this fancy software to say, okay, well, based on how much you've got here, we're trying to forecast, you know, another 25, 30 years down the road. How can they forecast the economic models? Could they could right. they forecast COVID? Could they forecast all the helicopter money we've had? Can they forecast it? No, they can't forecast any of that. How do we do it with cash flow? Well, it's the fundamentals of real estate, as we know them very well, is in, in, is real estate keeps pace with inflation. So I don't think it's very healthy for our economy to be running at eight and a half or nine percent inflation, the CPA CPI rate that we have now. That's not healthy. But you know what? Our assets, and you've already talked about it earlier rents go up the values go up so at least we can keep pace financial model not not the case you start having to deplete that financial model that accumulation model depleted over time and try not to run out of money chris miles talking about his father was looking at that saying yeah dad you, you need to take out this much every year to pay for your burn rate because there's no cash flow in this model it's just you just stacked it up as high as you could get it but you only stacked up enough to last you five more years you look at inflation rate today and let's just say Let's just let's just peg it at eight and a half percent, or even eight percent, to do the math in my head. Uh, use the rule of twenty-two. Every nine years, with an eight percent inflation rate, the purchasing power of your dollar, or your hundred thousand dollars, or your million dollars, whatever you have, is cut in half. Cut in half. So you thought you had a million dollars, it was me. That's going to work really well for me for the next X number of years. Oh, but gee, in nine years, it's only going to be worth half a million dollars, and then in another nine years, it's worth a quarter of a million dollars. How's that going to work out when you've not attach your your plan to a vehicle that actually keeps pace with inflation.